Here's what the West Side is. In this video, I want to explain a couple of simple things about using your stethoscope. First of all, the earpieces should be slightly angled forward. It, it doesn't seem right, but that's the way your ear is shaped. The ear canal goes in this way. If you have it turned around backwards, you nobody will have any breath sounds. You won't be able to hear anything. Be sure and face that forward. You can adjust these slightly and they'll twist one way or the other. If this is too tight and it feels like it's trying to poke into your eardrums, you can stretch it out. Be, be careful, don't break it. But you can stretch it out and make it a little bit looser. If you have a one-sided stethoscope, like I do, I have this incredibly awesome stethoscope, you don't have to worry about changing sides. But this, a lot of the stethoscopes have two bells on them for the low sounds and for the normal sounds, and it twists. If you have it twisted the wrong way, then you'll, you won't be able to hear any breath sounds and you won't understand why. If you have one of these incredibly awesome stethoscopes, it has an option in here to change electronically for the low sounds, the normal sounds, and the extended range sounds. Also, the bell of the stethoscope should be against the skin. That's optimal, okay? Having said that, you don't need to undress your patient to listen to them. If they have a thin gown on, you can listen to that. Be able to be sure and press firmly against their skin and, and listen to them. Usually, if you go in between ribs, you get the best sound. If, especially if they're very bony and there's a, a quite an indentation in between their ribs, it may be more difficult to listen. With children, pediatrics, and infants, neonates, there should be an adapter for the smaller bell to be able to listen to them more specifically, because this is a wide area to listen for a pediatric patient. They also, Lipman also makes specialized pediatric and neonatal stethoscopes that have a much smaller bell. Okay, thank you so much.